what's going on guys men elite here back on the final fantasy 16 grind playing the rising tide dlc this is episode three no idea what's in store for us with this one either way we're gonna give it our all Would have been a good start for the episode, almost dying. Oh, oh my days. Oh, God's back into it. Whatever that attack is, that is crazy OP, doesn't it, curl? Maidens March Obelisk. Do you see that cave up ahead? Whoever lived here carved a flight of stairs into the stone within. Away to the top. And whatever it is that awaits us there. There, the temple that time forgot. Yeah, it doesn't look scary at all. And the bear is inside. Yes, you can see the spell's path from the nave. Probably nothing. Forgive me, but why build the Vare here? The spell was originally meant to be cast on Drake's eye, and this was the only place with an unbroken line of sight. Tombre. The Tombrees like to think these ruins are their own. They look none too pleased to see us. Numbers dwindle. There, 
others seem only to increase, as if they were feeding off our suffering. I have to say, I'm loving the aesthetics of this DLC. Is that a Tomb Raider game? <laughs> no. Oh, the size of his knife. Like a Dark Souls character. An Elden Ring boss. Oh, Master Tomberry. This be their leader. You're more than welcome to us. Good damage that. That was actually easier than I was like worried about. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought it'd be a little bit harder. But he actually melted quite easily. That could have been worse. I just I said that. Ah well. If the forest's taught me anything, is that there's always something worse. Don't say that. All gonna turn up? No. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is giving me like, oh, shizer. Barely beat the last curl.
Now that we know what to expect from that ball attack, that wasn't too, too difficult. Potion? No. We do need to get some potions, man, game. So if you'd like to give me some, please. Thank you. Better be a boss fight as well. Is that the knife? Just inside the dawn, yes. But it's what's out here that worries me. Don't say that. Demon wall. Imagine. This looks like a boss arena. Oh, uh, wish I was wrong. Thinking they'd all migrated south. The weaker ones did. The weaker ones. Did you hear that, Sid? Yeah, what is that? Uh. Oh my days, we're gonna die. Oh! That is so lucky. <laughs> oh my days, we need to go shop and buy some potions. Stop throwing more hard enemies at me. Oh. Oh wow, even the birds. Mm. Another of my ancestors' sins. Shall we? 
No, I kind of want to go get some potions, please. Veil shows the extent of the spell's reach. But I can feel its ether from here. Shula, wait. Before we cross the threshold, I'd like to know a little more about how these magics work. I assume we'll be safe from their influence. We won't grind to a halt, if that's what you mean. The spell only affects the things that were present at the moment it was cast. Oh, uh -oh. I hope the birds and that not being eaten by predators and stuff like that then. Is this Leviathan's turn? May I get some potions, please? When he realized my ancestors were attempting to cast a spell from here, he made to destroy the temple. And almost did by the looks of it. I think we dealt with them pretty swiftly if you do they saw me solve big one that portions definitely need that high portion
Can't even see that. Not far away. New enemies appear off the roof. Why wouldn't they be on the roof? I can only imagine what this place must have been like before the attack. This would have been a hall of worship. There was something similar in my father's keep. The priests would deliver their sermons from the dais. Your father? Reminds me of like an FF14 dungeon type layout. Really like it. We are riding our luck. This, this is gonna be a high portion, I bet ya, or, or a portion. What did I tell ya? One big lantern. It's just as I thought. Jill, does this ether not feel somehow familiar? Yes. I sensed it the moment we arrived, though I wasn't sure until now. You can feel it too, can't you, Clive? 
She's calling us. You don't mean the witch? I do. Though she was more than that. Much more. She was a dominant. A dominant who once commanded the icon that now resides in both me and Jiva? life. Of course. I don't know why I didn't see it. Who else would have the power to freeze time? None other than Shiva herself. Ah. For her ether to endure after all these years, it, it's almost as if... Jeeva's sister? As if she shared it with another, just as Torgal shared in my eyes. Oh, this dude looks cool. Ice sword, spear. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not ready for this. I got one potion, mate. Time out. I'm gonna have to deliberately lose just to. it would sooner die than fail its mistress. Then it leaves us no choice. Do I get on the ship back? Oh, we do. There we go. Yeah, too slow, boy. Sit there and take that. It'd be a good timekeeper.
Oh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's actually so great by them. That's why I got me. Fuck her off. Time on me. I know all of eh? to do against this like Uh, staggered now, aren't you, you little timekeeper? Tell you what time it is, it's clobbering time. Oof. See what we can do when we actually get portions? Must be weakened, not undone. Let's just fight Leviathan and have over with it. Isn't that what we came here for? Did you ever stop to wonder what might happen to the tidal surge if I unraveled the whole spell at once? I didn't think so. This is going to require a bit more finesse. From wind and light. Water and earth, let the silent pall of my ice. There's too much ether. He'll help her, or she'll help her. Yes. And me. Help. So that lets some of the water go, does it? I think so. The thread connecting this place to the child should be broken. Meaning Walyas should finally be... Uh-oh. Free once more. How did you get here? Leviathan, our most profaned fragment. Its divinity defiled by the hand of man. Its spirit shackled by his hubris till Muthos came bringing release now let the sins of man be redeemed by the hand of the 
servant of God. Uh oh. Damn it. Uh oh. What's happening? What do you think? Come to me, Efraid! You should head back to the village and get everyone to higher ground. <laughs> for the rest. Here we go. The rest, Efraid will handle. Please be some kick ass music. We need Phoenix as well so we can fly around here while we fight. I like his little swagger he's got there. After eight years of imprisonment, I'd be angry I'd too. Be angry too. Ah, oh, not two of them. More of your playthings. At least I've got Maul and Leviathan to fight you guys this time. We got this. She seems to give me a lot of portions along the way. Dodge them. It's too close. Enough. This is making a path for us. Come on. 
on then. No more hiding. Yeah, the problem is you're a fire element and he's a water element. But we're gonna get our asses whooped. Why don't we have a fight and blow off a little steam? You get it? Water and fire. They make steam. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yes, look at that fire burn. Oof. How the heck are we gonna fight you? What I wanted. Never is Clive. Oh, he didn't say come to me, Everett. Size comparison. Topped all of his wall balls. Uh oh. Takes us under water, we're gone. Yeah, let it bite you. Know. It's literally got only its mouth. Yes, prize it open. Put a firewall down its throat. if I could actually say as well. Ow. Oh, sugar. We need to use the bloody brimstone on that. Oh, it's just too late, isn't it? Charging at me now, but oh, I totally didn't do well on that that time.
come up here, boy. Why you run? Staggered the little shot. Oh, we should have just brimstone that. Damage. How tough is Leviathan? Oh, Bahama was hard. I am. Things are aching. Oh, I bet now we have to break it in a certain amount of time. Oh my days.
I used fucking R2 and square! Yeah, get back down on the ground. wings off its fins supposed to do there. Dead air. Am I not doing any damage to it? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm not doing any damage to him! If that's what you want. Yes, turn it to steam! fish Why does Leviathan and Bahamut get kick ass barriers like that? That 
was by far one of the hardest summon fights ever. Like, I'm not even joking. Uh-oh. Baby falling off. Right? Clive, where is he? Well, yes. Could it only our help, Joshua? Ago. Yes, I did. <laughs> Clive, I... I don't know how to thank you. It's all right. We should find him a dry blanket, though. Wouldn't want the little monster catching a cold. <laughs> Oof. There. He's finally asleep. The poor thing had a long day. Him and me and both. Of us. So, what happens now? Now? Now, we make things right. How? By providing Walius what he was denied. A place to learn and grow. A family to love and protect him. So that one day, when the wounds in his heart and mind have finally healed, he might decide for himself how he'd like to live the rest of his life. But until then, I'll stay by his side, come what may. Then he's a lucky boy. And not only because he'll have the best warrior this side of the belt to teach him the battle axe. Hmm. She'll do her best. Shula. The beast that threatened your home is tamed. The empire that threatened your people toppled. Might it not be time to cast off your ancestors' glamour and retake your place in the twins? Perhaps. It's not as if we have the crystals to maintain the wall much longer. But are we truly safe? Is the world truly ready to accept us for who we are 
and what we believe. If I remember rightly, you and yours still choose to remain hidden, do you not? We do. Well, your people will always be welcome in Haven, regardless. As will yours in the hideaway. We're allies now. If there's anything you need from us, supplies, food, equipment, do not hesitate to ask. It's kind of you to offer. But we'll manage, just as we always have. Besides, I suspect you'll be needing everything at your disposal if you're going to save the world. <laughs> I fear much of it is past saving. The best we can do is strive to turn what's left into a world where we can all live as equals. A noble endeavor. And there'll be a place in this world for us, will there? For oh, well, yes. For everyone. I swear it. And we shall be waiting. Until the tides bear you back to shore. there you go guys that is the completion of the rising tide um thoroughly enjoyed it uh a little disappointed that, about the music for leviathan i honestly thought it was going to be the final fantasy 14 music um but yeah no i enjoyed the fight overall despite it being quite hard hope you guys did too do you think he'll be all right well yes well, only time will tell, but I can certainly think of worse places to spend one's childhood. The moats of water are a fine people, and they will take good care of him. Up by the Vare, Ultima spoke to me. She called Leviathan his most profaned fragment, and told me to redeem the sins that had laid him low. Is that so? The sins of Walius's ancestors were grave indeed. To force him to prime at so tender an age. And to freeze him in time. That he might never know what it was to live. Yet I doubt either of those crimes was the source of Ultima's displeasure. It was that the Icon's power had been put to another purpose than the one he intended. To him. Leviathan must have seemed an aberration. Could that be why Ultima made no attempt to lead me to him? The fear that this profane fragment might corrupt his vessel somehow? Perhaps. Or perhaps he simply deemed Leviathan surplus to requirements. Having concluded that his vessel might be made to serve his purposes without the full sum of his power. His purposes? There's no escaping them. Even here. Hidden away in the city of the blessing of the crystals proved nothing but a prison. A prison into which Walius was born. And from which freedom is hard won. If the world doesn't change. If we don't change it. He'll end up suffering the same fate as every dominant who came before him. Then we must change it. That we must. And we shall. Hmm. My friend, I have news. I think I might have found a way to break Talor's curse. Go on. Well, after listening to the village elders and scouring every likely nook and tome in the library, I learned that not all Tombries are the same little green menaces we know and loathe. Apparently, a chosen few live to incredible ages and grow to many times the size of their counterparts. The 
folk tales hold that it's the very eldest of these, the Tomboy uh -oh. Kings, who weave the curses, and that their magics bind their victims to them, that they might continue to feed on their pain. So if we slay the one that cast the curse, the feeding will cease. But that was my thinking, yes. Though I doubt it'll be easy. These kings are not just bigger, they're stronger too. And if the tales are true, their followers will defend them to the death. It is a perilous proposition, in short. But it may also be Talor's only hope. What say you? I'll do it. Even if killing this <laughs> king uh, doesn't break the curse, the city will be a safer place. And that was me thinking I was done. Thank you. So then, where will I find it? That, alas, I do not know. It must have woven the curse at the altar in Father's Fell, but as to where it is now. Fanet, you were the one asking about Tonbury's, right? Because there's a whole bloody army of them out on the cloak. What? Oh dear. But, but why would they stray so far? Why now? There's only one way to find out. I'll head up the mountain and see what's going on. Right. Thank you. And please, be careful. Well guys, it looks like there's going to be a bunch of side quests here. So I think we're going to end the episode here and do them all next episode. And then we'll see if there's any more after that. Appreciate you all stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the Leviathan fight and watching me get my butt whooped. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!